All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is my 35 and a half foot Class A motor home. This is a gas motor home. I just got this like three weeks ago. And as you can see, there's snow on the ground. It's cold. Uh, I want to get this kind of put away and stored away for winter time. I uh, still need to do a few things, but it is completely winterized. I'll do a winterized uh, winterization video in a, in a separate one. But I want to talk about this cover today. This is from Quick Tent. This is their 33 to 37 foot Class A motor home. Uh, got a lot of great features to it. So I want to get this opened up. I want to try it out and see how it looks, see how, see how it fits on this uh, motorhome. This has several straps to it that are going to help secure this down to the sides of the RV. So, all right, the cover itself does come with, with a bag to be able to store it in. And it's actually, this thing is like vacuum packed in here. This thing's going to never going to be this small again. But you do have a pretty good sized bag that you're going to charge bag to keep that with, to keep it in. So in addition to all the straps you get, we, here's our, we got our instruction manual here, pretty straightforward. We just have to get it up on the roof, roll it out, and drape it down the side. So getting it on is uh, pretty straightforward. It does have a couple of, these are these have some adhesive backing to them. It looks like they're patches. So if you ever develop a hole or some kind of a rip or tear, there is a repair. These are a couple of repair panels. This is for the side, this is for the roof. You're not, you don't cut the cover. All right, these four small individual pieces, these are actually the wheel covers. So it's nice that it comes with the wheel covers. These are going to help keep your tires from getting sun damage while you have it in storage. So we'll get those on last. Let's get the cover unfolded. So getting it just partially rolled out here, uh, there is a tag. The first tag that you see is actually says front on it. It is kind of a small tag, but it does have an arrow. So this is going to be the front of it. And I think the easiest way is going to be getting up on the roof like this. I don't want to unfold it all the way. It's going to be harder to get up there, but if I can get if I can get this up to the roof, I can kind of lay it out, spread it out lengthwise, and then it'll just drape down over the sides. Now getting this cover up to the top of the RV on the roof is going to be the hardest part of this. The cover weighs almost 60 pounds and so carrying this up there by yourself is going to be quite the challenge. I was able to do it okay but it is a little bit, it is heavy, it is bulky to get up there. Probably would have been better if I had a helper to help me with this process. And going through the cover now I'm just getting oriented to the way that it needs to go so I can unfold it. The way that the factory folded up is very straightforward, very, very easy to unfold. One thing I learned after almost getting it all the way done was that the lighter side is the roof, the darker gray sides are the side panels. So when you're getting it unfolded here, you want to make sure that light side is on top, the darker panels are, are on the uh, sides, and now I can just get it stretched out over the top. One thing you want to be aware of and very careful of when you're on the roof is you want to make sure your roof is dry and there's no wind. If there's wind out there, this is going to turn into a big parachute and just blow right off and it's be very difficult. So no wind, no moisture on the roof, make sure it's dry. And then getting this spread out, as you're walking on the roof, you want to make sure that you don't damage any of your, your roof components. Any of the AC vents, the, uh, the vents, any of the, the, there's some plumbing vents, there's the antennas. If you have any solar panel, you just want to be careful of all of the things on the roof. If you step on something or you pull too hard, you could rip something off or damage it, and that could be very costly. So just be careful. I'm just taking my time. I'm just getting things spread out, uh, getting the cover stretched out the length of the RV, and then once it gets stretched out to the length of it, I can start throwing it over the edges, draping it down the side, and covering the front and the back.
All right, the cover's mostly on here. It's actually a really good fit. Uh, this is, like I said, this is a 35 and a half foot RV, and this is the 33 to 37 foot cover. This, I, would, I wouldn't think you'd want to use it on in a bigger RV. It's very snug, very tight. It went on, it, it went on pretty easily, but it does have these three straps in the back. So you just roll these out, buckle them in. I need, need to get a ladder to get this top one. And it also has those three in the front, so that way it's going to cinch it on the on the sides or on the back and the front. Okay, as for the side buckles, there's actually 16 of these side buckles, and they just clip into these grommets right here all the way down, and it goes underneath the RV, clips into uh, clips into the other side. So that's going to really provide a lot of good strength to hold this down. You get a lot of winds. This That's going to hold this down. This is a nice, like, looks like a, a really thick vinyl with these grommets in here and this really feels very sturdy that it's going to hold up against some uh, weather and some wind especially having so many anchoring points along the way here so here's how we anchor this in here so this just clips into this grommet here clips in right there and then it actually buckles to the other side so actually you have all 16 straps all the way down on this so you only need one strap that will go all the way under over to the other side, which is uh, actually nice. So then you can have 16 anchoring points on this. This thing's not going anywhere. That's 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 more than I've seen on any RV cover. So I really like this feature, this really heavy duty vinyl grommeted tie down uh, point with so many of these straps. It's impressive. We just would send it underneath the RV. We come on over to this side. We get it from the other side here latch it down and then we can cinch this side down we can cinch that side down make that nice and tight and we can do as many as we want across this side here's also another cool feature is this is the um, the door side so you can see here we actually have a we've got a zippered side so here we have it we have a zippered panel through here we've got another zipper zippered panel here we have one here we could actually open up this entire side depending on how much of the RV we want to have access to. Like, for example, my door is right here in the middle, so I can open this up, have full access to the RV, just undo my little Velcro strap. And then the strap's hanging down on the inside here where these, this, this whole panel can roll up. So for my purposes, what I can do is I can just get on a ladder, unzip that all the way up, and then I can just roll this whole panel up I can just roll this whole panel up all the way to the top. And then I've got straps underneath here that will tie it up, up out of the way if I wanna have access to this door. Or because this is positioned right close to my door, I could just leave this. I could just leave this unzipped and go in and out of my RV as, as, as needed. So the, the fact, I love that you have a lot of options on the door side because it's gonna fit a lot of options. Access to your storage compartments along the way, a lot of flexibility, a lot of choices when it comes to accessing your RV. Because sometimes you wanna get in there, you wanna, you know, maybe you're tinkering things, fixing things over the winter, over storage time. I'm gonna keep this at my house, so I'm gonna have that opportunity to be able to get things kind of loaded into it, test it out, you know, fix a few things. Uh, and so I wanna have access to my RV over the winter time when it's in storage next to my house. Here I am getting all the 16 straps hooked onto the grommets and pushed under to the other side so I can strap the entire cover down. All right guys, so this is an impressive cover. You can see all the straps that strap on to each side of this. Three straps on the top and the bottom. So you have over, you know, you have 16, you got, you know, 22 straps on this that are strapping this thing down, holding it down, keeping it secure. So I'm really impressed with all the straps. I love the fact that it has this nice blue heavy duty vinyl piece that the straps hook into, really making it more, more uh, durable feels like it's really going to hold it down really well and the flexibility you can put straps wherever you want you don't have to use all 16 you can use as many as you want i like the all of the whole zippered side on the other side where it can zip all the way up that i can expose that full side if i wanted to to get easy access into the rv anyway so this is an impressive rv cover i like it the quality seems really good i like that i got a nice waterproof barrier on the top of my roof it's going to help keep water damage out of the rv over the winter time and it's gonna help keep sun damage off of it as well. So anyways, guys, we'll see the link down below. Big shout out to Quick Tent for sponsoring this, this video. And be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.